Daily Prep Monday, August 9th, 2021 Monday of 19th week in Ordinary Time Daily Prep Monday, August 9th, 2021 Monday of 19th week in Ordinary Time The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew While Jesus was in Galilee with the twelve, he said to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. But he will rise on the third day. The twelve were deeply grieved. When they returned to Capernaum, the temple tax collectors came to Peter and asked him, does your master pay the temple tax? He answered, Yes. Peter then entered the house, and immediately Jesus asked him, What do you think, Simon, who pay taxes or tribute to the kings of the earth, the sons of strangers and aliens? Peter replied, Strangers and aliens. And Jesus told him, the sons then are thus free, but so as not to offend these people, go to the sea, throw in a hook, and open the mouth of the first fish you catch. You will find a quang in it. Take the quang and give it to them for you and for me. The Gospel of the Lord May the Lord Jesus continue to bless you with gifts beyond your expectation, and may you be willing to share as generously with others as God has shared with you. The wisdom of God again refuse the ways of mortals. In the first reading, the words of Moses urge the Israelites to recall the greatness God has done for them and to turn to the Lord instead of being stiff-necked. The psalmist urges the people to realize that no other God has done for any people what the Lord God has done for the chosen people. In the Gospel, Jesus again predicts his death, and it leads to confusion. Jesus also shows his wisdom and understanding concerning taxes. The Israelites continue their journey in the desert. Moses tells the people that they have not always been open to God's gifts, and they have hardened their hearts to God's movement. They need to circumcise their hearts, that is, be open to what God has done and is doing for them. If they reflect on the blessings they have received from God, they will be able to continue to receive God's favor. In their remembering, they are told to recall they were once aliens, and so they should treat aliens with care and compassion. This is something we should remember also as we encounter aliens in our midst. In the Gospel, Jesus' continued message of his impending death is met with confusion and disbelief by his disciples. They cannot grasp that God's plan could include the death of Jesus. They are still thinking that Jesus, as the Messiah, was going to manifest some sort of political power freeing people from their oppression by Rome. Jesus tries to help them to understand that God's love will be manifested by his suffering and death and resurrection to show that God can make good come from something apparently negative. He allows Simon Peter to catch a fish to pay the temple taxes Again, Jesus' wisdom and activity surpasses even his disciples' grips of 
what is happening. I, like the Israelites in the first reading and the disciples in the Gospel, sometimes cannot fathom the realities that God is trying to teach. I need to look beyond my own personal desert experience and the trying events in my life to see how God may be moving in the lives of those whom I care about, including me. Jesus' followers were only able to see his soon to be death as a tragic event inconceivable in their understanding of the Messiah. Jesus wanted them to try to understand that his death would bring about salvation and a closer relationship between his Abba Father and his other disciples. His conversation concerning paying taxes and his allowing Simon Peter to catch a fish with tax money within his mouth showed that God has control of everything and will make all things work out. We may not fully understand all of God's actions. It may take looking backward, not just now but in eternity, to see the greatness of God's plan. What we need to do right now is follow the words of the psalmist and glorify the Lord. Praise your God. The personal question or action for today, in what areas of my life have I failed to try to understand the movement of God? What is my response when I contemplate the greatness and graces of God as God acts in my life? What can I do to bolster the faith of those who are struggling with their understanding of who God is in their lives and how God is acting in their everyday experiences? Let us pray. Blessed are you, O Lord God of all goodness. Through your kindness, we have been blessed with earthly existence and the promise of eternal existence with you if we but open our minds and hearts to you. For the times we have closed our understanding to your plan for our lives and the lives of those for whom we care, we seek your forgiveness and healing. Through the power and inspiration of your Holy Spirit, open our minds to what you would have us know so that we can continue our journey to you. We make this pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, our brother and master teacher, who is living and reigning with you, and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus.